Yes. What grade was it? It was in grade five. Mm -hmm. And you had a Swedish lesson? Yes, it was a Swedish lesson. I went into the Multilib uh, library on the internet and I told them about the project, how we had worked with it. And then uh, we took one story and I wanted them to see that story just by looking at the pictures. And uh, it was the Syrian uh, story. And tried to find out if they knew the story. And uh, it was very interesting because some of the the students that had that have come from other countries, uh, they recognized by the pictures while we were going through the story. And uh, then we was we talked a little bit in the class, and then one girl said that she knew Turkish, and uh, I found. The Turkish version, and uh, she started to read the whole story for uh, to her classmates. And at that moment, I was so happy because I could see that she was she was pride to to tell the story in her language, and also the one from other countries was a little bit. They thought it was very fun to hear someone something else than Swedish. Yes, then I decided to use the Swedish um, story, the traditional story. Någon är stark och någon är svag. Men ingen är precis som jag. And that is a very short one. Uh, and we, we, we sang it together because it's easy to learn. And then we were, we were looking at the pictures and they were very impressed of the pictures and then I said this story is so short I think maybe we can make it a little bit longer and I divided the class in four groups and I gave them one picture each uh, one for the long one for the short uh, one for the strong and one for the week and then I told the students now you are going to to make uh, to describe this uh, mush mushroom but a person <laughs> how how does he or she looks what is his uh, interests uh, or how is he like a person and uh, then we will put it into the story and we, we will make a longer story mm.